In this video, we'll, we'll quickly review some of the basics of a static and the default routings initially. And then also we'll go and verify some of the other options, advanced options relating to a static and default routing. That's what we call as floating static routes or the floating default routes. And then we'll implement a small scenario and then we'll verify the same on the command line. So let's get started with the basic uh, routing here. Now, if you just get back to the CCNA topics, static routing is something manually configured by the administrator. The administrator has to go to the command line and administrator has to manually configure the route for each and every destination from router one to router three dot network and from router one to two dot network. And in order to do that, you must know the destination network ID. And if you don't know the destination network ID, you cannot write the route. Now for each and every destination it has to be done manual configurations and which is something it's not applicable for the big size networks. Now to configure the static route, either we can write an IP route destination network ID, destination subnet mask, and either we can write a next stop, inter next stop IP address, like from the router one to reach this network, and then we can write the next stop IP address, that is the next stop, or we can write our own exit interface. So alternate option, a, uh, our own exit interface here, S0 by 0, or we can write 10.002, something like that. Now the major difference between these two is if you're writing the next hop, uh, probably the router is going to check the routing table two times because let's say if there is a destination uh, network let's say the router one wants to go to 192.162 door network if you're writing the next stop uh, in the routing table you'll see this route as s it's going to say that to reach that particular network it has to go via 10.002 and then it is going to see the routing table one more time and that next stop is on which interface on s0 by 0 and then the router one is going to forward back out of S0 by zero. Now the routing lookup generally happens two times if you write the next hop. Now if you're writing the exit interface generally, let's say if I'm writing 192.168 2 door network, if I'm writing directly my exit interface, the routing lookup generally happens only one time. So because the router will see this as connector interface and then it will simply send out of S0 by zero interface automatically. Let's see, let's get into the command line and verify the same more, more on this. Let's say I got a small default topology pre-configured here with the same three routers here. I'll go to router one and I got 192.168 one dot network and two dot network and three dot network exactly as per my topology. Now if I go to the command line of the router one, so if I give show IP route, I can see the router one is already connecting to three interfaces that is 10 dot network, 12 dot network and 192.168 1 dot network. Now this 12 dot network, 10 dot network and this is 192.168 1 dot network. Now if you want to write a static route, generally we write with a command, let's say I'm going to write IP route 192.168 2 dot network 255.255.255.0 and the next stop I'm going to write 10.002. So let's go to router 1 and write the next stop as 10.002. Now this is one way to write the static route and there's alternate way to reach 192.168 uh, two dot network or let's let's write down for three dot network 255.255.255.0 and the next hop now there are two different ways as I said either we can write the next hop interface or we can write our own exit interface now on the router one to reach this network I have written this route now probably from the router one to reach three dot network I'm going to use this route and instead of writing the next hop I'm writing my own exit interface. So my own exit interface is S0 by 1. So I'm going to write to reach 3 dot network. So I want to prefer that route, the route which is direct between router 1 to router 3. And I'm writing like this. And then if you want to write one more route, let's let's write for 11 dot network as well. The van link between between router 2 and router 3. And then I'm using 10.002. So the major difference in the routing table is if I give show IP route static, you can see if I'm writing the next hop, normally it will be having the administrative distance of one and you will see them as static route and you will see the next hop. Now in this scenario, the router one, if it has anything to send to two door network, it's going to first see the next hop and it will check one more time the routing table. It will see what is that next hop is on which interface and then forward out of a zero by zero interface. So the routing, routing lookup generally happens two times if you are writing the next hop. But in case if you are writing a directly connected interface, like the exit interface, like in my scenario, to reach 3 dot network, 
I'm writing S0 by 1. Now I can see this as a st static route and then it says it is directly connected on this interface. Now directly connected means it may be directly connected to the next router or maybe uh, more than that. It doesn't matter even though if your destination is somewhere here, still it shows as directly connected. Now the major thing is now when we need to use a next hop. Now there are some cases or some scenarios where it is not recommended to use next hop, uh, especially if you have a network, if you are using a framework kind of implementations where you are implementing some uh, point to point, point to multi point connections where you have multiple next hops. So let's say the next hop address is 10.002, 10.003, 10.004. Now in this scenario, I'm using S0 by 0 here and in this scenario it's it's always recommended to use next hop here. Now the main reason is this is a point to multi point network where you have multiple next hops but if you use exit interface now it, the same interface is going to take you to the three different directions or three different routers. Now in this scenarios you need to you need to mandatory use next hop interface or if if you're using some kind of broadcast networks where you're connecting your locations to a broadcast network, a service for network. We call them as broadcast multi-access networks. In this kind of scenarios also we use a next hop. Uh, next hop is something mandatory we need to define. But in case of point-to-point uh, -point links, let's say if, I ha if you just have point-to-point -point links, probably we, we can either define the next hop interface or exit interface, it's not going to matter. But especially when you're using most of the point to multi point links or the broadcast networks, uh, we need to ensure that we are not using the exit interface addresses in this kind of scenarios. So you need to manually define what, what is the next hop interface IP address so that it will be sent only to that particular uh, next hop rather than sending it to any, any one of these.